Welcome to this tutorial on learning how to set up the WordTwit plugin. What the WordTwit plugin will do is when you write a new post for your blog, you can then post it and schedule it online so it goes live and it will automatically send out the title and the link to your Twitter feed. So what we need to do to get started is we need to install the plugin and once we install the plugin we can then go ahead and customize our settings accordingly. So here we're in the install plugin section and we need to type in the plugin that we're looking for. And as you can see here, we have the word twit plugin. Now you can click on details if you want to read about it. It will show you sometimes screenshots or installation instructions or anything related to that. We're just going to go ahead and install it because we know this is what we're looking for. As we know, this is the plugin that does the job of syndicating it out to our Twitter feed. Click on install now and you'll get a warning message asking you if you're sure you want to install it. Click on OK and then you can go ahead. As you can see now, it's now been installed, so we come over and we activate it. And when you activate it, it will now become live. So what we can do now is we can go and actually put in our settings for the plugin. To find the plugin, you need to come down the page and either look for it in here. Now, sometimes you can't edit the settings from the plugin screen itself. So what you have to do is you have to scroll down to settings and usually you'll see it sitting inside and as you can see it's right here. So we'll click on that and put our settings in. So now we're here for our WordTwit plugin and we need to go ahead and put in our different settings. So what we do now is we need to give it a URL shortening. You can use tiny URL, bit.ly, hourly. I actually use bit.ly. They're all fairly similar. Some different applications, if you're promoting products or services, don't let certain shorteners be used. So I'm going to go ahead and use the bit.ly shortener. And if we scroll down, we have to sign in using Twitter. So we have to sign in so it can link the WordTwit plugin to our Twitter account so it knows where to post our blog out to. So what you need to do now is either authorize the app or say no thanks. So we're going to go ahead and authorize the application and it's now going to take us back. So now we're back at our website here. So we've got it set up. It's defaulted back. So change that back to bit.ly. It's put in my Twitter account. It's got it set up. So what this means is it will put in the title and the link. It will say new blog posting, title and link. You can customize this to how you want. Also, if you want a different application to act with WordTwit, you can put in the OAuth consumer key and the secret key. Otherwise, you can leave these clear and it will just use the default configuration. Here, you can put in tags or categories. What you can do is, if you want to not post out to your Twitter feed every single blog that you sent out, you can actually put in a category and it will exclude those. So just leave this if you don't have any, but for example, if you're doing a promotion and it's a secret one or it's not for everybody, you don't want it on your Twitter stream, you can actually put in categories here and anything assigned with that category won't actually get tweeted out when you write a new post. You have advanced options here to do with uh, tweeting old posts and a few other things. You don't need to use these unless these actually affect you. So you can actually just go ahead and go update options. So now we've actually got it all sorted out. We've gone live, but because I've typed in my bit.ly, you have to type in your username and your API key. So to get those, I have to go to my bit.ly account and type them in. So I'll just grab these. If you haven't got a bit.ly account set up, it's very simple. Just go to the Bitly website and set yourself up and you'll be given a username and API key. So you go in here and enter in your username and your API key. 
and what we do now is come back down and we update. So make sure if you haven't got a bit.ly username or a API key you go get yourself one. So now we're all set up, we've set up our account, we've set up what we want the blog post uh, title and link to be. You can configure that here and you can go and change the tag and category options. So now that it's in here it's all set up and it's live and all you need to do now is write a blog post and then when you syndicate it or push publish it will actually tweet it out and I'll show this happening now as well. So let's go over to all posts. Now here you can see that I've got a post here called Pocket Video Power Review. So I can actually go across and update this. It's all ready to go, it's set up. So I'm gonna update that and that will actually get published. So now what we want to do is we just want to go to our site to make sure that the post has gone live. So all we need to do for this is go to our website. And as you can see the number one post here is Pocket Video Power Review. Now that's got the post right there. What we want to do is we'll just have a quick look inside to check the post looks okay. And then we'll go to my Twitter feed to see if it has been tweeted out as well. This here is my Hootsuite account and this is where I come to do all my tweeting and posting and if we come across here to the sent tweet section you can see the last tweet was pocket video power review and what it's done there is sent out the title of that post and it's also sent out the link for that post. So this is exactly how WordTwit works. If you want to go and install it, it's a great tool because it saves you having to go syndicate the content yourself. Very powerful and you can also utilize other tools like Tweet Old Post, which is another plugin, and that will then syndicate it again after a set time. So I'll have mine set to 30 days and it's a great way to keep old posts current. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Very basic, but another great plugin that you can go and implement in your own blog.